Okay, I had some technical difficulty. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so we're going to do the back first. This is the back. You're on a golf course. Every house in this little subdivision has tile roofs. I'm assuming it's part of an HOA requirement. Looks like they got little markers here so you can see where your property line is. So your property line runs right out to here. There's the pool with the hot tub. This house needs painted just like the other one. It's got some age on it. it has a pool heater outside, irrigation system here. Everything seems to be manicured. Looks good. We'll kind of give you a shot of the neighborhood. Very quiet street. Honestly, I've been driving through the neighborhood, and uh, I would say your demographics in this area is predominantly older people. I don't really see any evidence of families. There could be, I just don't see them. Everybody I've seen out is 65 or older. Side of the house, now you have pavers in the driveway. There's your neighbor coming out. I rest my case. Nice thing about this house is the mailbox is right there. So if you need to collect your mail in the afternoon, it's right there. You don't have to drive to it. Okay, coming in, they've got a little entryway that's screened. I've already been in this house, so I can tell you it's dated. So they've got a nice hurricane shutter up there. Here are the front of the house. When you come in, you've got your dining room off to the right. You got tile, dated tile, little half wall here. You definitely have plenty of room for a pool table in this house. It's just going to need a little updating. Okay, so you can see the pool out there, the French doors. Little entryway over there. That's going to be the kitchen, but we're going to go off to the left first. You got a little bedroom here that they've converted into an office. Then you've got a bathroom here in between the two. Single sink. Tower shub, sub. And another bedroom here. Not a 
a bad sized bedroom. I mean, they've got some big stuff in here. This desk and chair and dresser and the two beds split up. It's not a huge bedroom, but it's not a bad size. Okay, so when you leave here, you can turn the lights off. Okay. There's your dining room. This is your living room. And then this goes into the kitchen. There's a little pocket door here. Nice size kitchen. A little pass through over to the family room. This stuff's wallpaper, so you can, that ought to tell you how dated it is. Cupboards are. Eh. And there's your breakfast nook. And then you've got your kitchen, I'm sorry, your garage off the kitchen. Laundry room is in the garage. Hurricane doors are up to 2000 code. Fuse panel looks okay. This one has a little door that goes off to the outside. A little mud sink. Come back in. Off to the right is your little pantry. popcorn type ceiling. Come back in here. They made this the family room. We'll go over here to the master. This is not a split floor plan. So all three bedrooms are on the same side of the house. Single seek and a vanity. And you got a little door here for the shower. You have another sink. Shower. And a Johnny. Yeah, this place is full of wallpaper. So. Master is not really that big. It does have sliders that go out to the lanai. I will stand here and kind of give you a view. Looking back at the front door. here there's your 
by. Oh, this one at least has a pool bath. It's got a little kitchen. Those rolled up, those are hurricane shutters too. They're the Cavalar, they just roll down. Then your pool and your hot tub. Not a bad sized pool. Looks like it has some staining on the bottom, but it looks fairly good shape. No big cracks that I can see. Just have one. And that doesn't look like it's that. Going over to the pool. And you got one here. So, okay. Let's scan this back here real quick. French door is taking you into the family room. Those doors taking you into the, or the French door is taking you into the living room. Those doors take you into the family room. There you go.